Now, mother would be very proud of the sons who came up with a simple idea to take the waste from all that COVID PPE and rework it into something else we can use again and again. Here's CTV's Danielle Hamamjan. A small Welsh company has found a cure to a major side effect of the pandemic that might also outlive it. Bags full of used or faulty face masks are dumped into a specialized machine, and there's only one function. We melt the masks, we melt the plastic, and it forms into the blocks that you see me sitting in here. The transformation is truly jaw-dropping. The masks are turned into what looks like pieces of a Jenga puzzle, ready to be repurposed. You shouldn't have all these massive waste mountains blowing up all over the world and people shipping all this waste all over the world. Recent studies suggest 129 billion masks are used every month. The damage to the environment has been described as a ticking plastic time bomb. Instead of piling up in landfills and taking almost 450 years just to start decomposing, this is the alternative. One button, one hour, and almost immediately ready to be reused. Endless nights were spent here trying to master the recipe, and here it is. Take 10,000 masks and throw in some hospital wraps or curtains, turn the temperature up to 350 degrees Celsius, and out comes a colorful rectangular block that is sold and re-engineered into just about anything. Bins, school chairs, bottle tops, picture frames, coat hangers, electrical fence posts, anything that they call material is plastic. Hospitals across the UK have begun to use the machines on site. The US Navy, wanting to reduce waste on board ships, has also signed a deal. Everybody thinks that plastic is the problem, but it's not. Plastic is a, uh, is a great product and it needs to be, the infrastructure needs to be there to recover it and reuse it. And this is the final product. The hour is up. 10,000 more face masks now have a second life. Danielle Hamamjan, CTV News in Cardiff.